It was a typical Saturday night in Jamestown where a group of kids were playing a game that they know so well. It's a game called Hide from the Black Car. This is where the kids were playing, right here, and video that we've been able to obtain from witnesses show that. And they're always looking for what they call the black car, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's black, it could be white or any color, but what it means is a car that looks like it could contain a gunman because they've had some shootings here in Jamestown. In this case, at the very same time as the car came along, a gentleman walked, I believe, right down this alleyway here. All coincidentally, I understand, an eight-year-old boy was given a quarter, and he ran at the same time across the way here. And in that second unit is where they sell unofficially chips and chocolate bars to the kids. Along the way comes a SUV, a gunman gets out, goes around and starts shooting and you can see the flash go right over his head towards the gentleman that was walking. The kid goes into the doorway to hide. Right here, as the bullets were flying by, the kids here deserve better. They're living in fear, they're good kids, they've got a future. But if not for this doorway, who knows what would have happened? Well, I was just getting worse, and now it's hitting too close to home, so I just want to get my kids out of here. They've heard it before. They've seen other people running, but they've never had to. And now it was like almost if he didn't run, he would have gotten shot. The police have acknowledged it happened, and they're looking for the people that were involved, particularly this SUV. It's a heinous act that could have been the 89th murder of the year and it could have killed an eight-year-old boy. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Joe Wong.